Welcome everyone. Um, today we are going to do a pick a card reading, pick a pow, um, one, two, or three, uno, dos, tres. Um, this is what I call, though, you know, I like to rename myself and call myself Beyond Tarot because to me, um, this is going to be a very intuitive read, um, psychic read, whatever you want to say. Um, and to me, the tarot are, you know, they're the activator, so to speak. Um, so that's how I use them anyway. So I feel like this is the kind of reading where whatever you, it is you want to know, um, and I'm going to ask about love because, let's face it, 90% of the readings, personal readings I get are about love. Maybe not 90. Um, but, yeah, love. So anyway, um, ask your guides. Your guides already know what it is you want to know. Um, and I think you got to kind of trust in that. So anyway, I feel if you're intuitively guided here, then chances are this is for you. Now, more than one pal can certainly resonate. All three may tell the whole story, so to speak. Um, so understand that. Don't question it. If, it, if that's what it feels to you, then that's what it is. You know, intuition um, can be fleeting. So you got to make that decision, trust it or don't. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and just calm our minds. Just take a couple deep breaths. It's really just to calm your energy. You can certainly ask your guides whether one, two, or three is what you need to hear. You'll probably see it in your mind's eye. Trust it. Some of you, you just felt it in your gut. Maybe you didn't see anything, but you, oh, you felt it, you know. So just trust that. And um, let's begin. All right, we're going to slide these up. So there's about, I think there's about six cards in each pile. Um, I'll tell you what they are as we use them. We're going to use the crystal vision to clarify. Each one has a Mother Mary Oracle card. Let's see what this one is. Power one. Compassion. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. Ruh -roh. It's like you're being called to your higher self. All right. We're going to use... Here's the Tarot of Dreams. We have the Six of Cups. Hmm. We have the Light Seers. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have another Light Seers. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have, um, this is the Tarot of Night. Um, and I don't use them very often because it's very dark imagery. Five of Wands. Look at these two people. Right? They're in this, they're like sharing the same space, so to speak. Though, at the same time, it's like they want their separate space. You know, they're... She looks like she's in distress. Maybe he shows up, you know, he's giving a tip of his hat. But he's looking down. Okay. Um, and then this deck with the stars is a deck of just major arcanas. I don't know the name, unfortunately. Look at this, we have the lovers. I know I'm moving slow, but I kind of feel I need to. Um, Carter Gemini also. 
the meaning of it is a head over heart decision. Um, but to me, this is a connection. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, um, many call her the Psychic Queen. Now, you don't have to be a fire sign to be this Queen of Wands. Um, to be in this Lovers. You don't have to be a Gemini. It's more about the energy of. So we have, we open with the Six of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, this is about happy memories. Um, usually of someone or something. Um, some of you may be trying to make a decision whether to... You know what I feel like? like I feel like moving back home and starting my own business. That's what I feel. I feel like being around my people. Um, now maybe when, as I say my people, there's someone in particular. Maybe I've spoken to them, maybe I haven't. Um, but I feel like it's some, some, you know, so, so it's like twofold, right? Like, hmm, and if I run into them, then I run into them. So I think you will. <laughs> because I think that's your intention. Therefore, that's what you're sending out. You're sending that intention out. Um, and, you know, I feel like, it clearly, because in this Five of Wands, their energy um, is not happy. It's quite the opposite. And a lot of times, Five of Wands talks about ego, our ego, and um, no one willing to back down type of energy. But in Six of Cups, I have cherished memories also. Whether it be of this person, of, and maybe it's of everything, of the location, my friends, maybe this person. Um, definitely feel that's what you want. <laughs> um, because, you know, here's the lovers, and it's the two halves of this soul, so to speak. And here they are right giving that space they each have their own individual individual space and then as the lovers they're together they come together they're touching but i also i also want to say um this is not just about this that um this is about you and in what you create and what you're building um you know i feel like like a change of location may be exactly what you need um, sometimes our location can predict our well not predict but um, can certainly add more resistance to our life than um, need be alright let's go ahead and bring in the crystal vision I kind of feel like I have the story um, this queen of wands you know, I feel like saying, dare you? Um, Queen of Wands would. Right? Queen of Wands moves according to her desires and her passions. Not just in love, but in everything. You know, I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands is, again, don't even worry about fire. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, I forgot what I was going to say about her. Oh, I feel, you know, you know, it's interesting because, like, it's almost like I'm seeing you as a teenager, and when you were a teenager, like, you may have been, um, at least of your group. Right, like we each had, you know, at least me, like had that, you know, different points in my life as five or six that were ride or die kind of friends. Um, you may have been like, let's, I, I hate to say the leader because I don't feel like it was a leader. I feel it's more like, you know, maybe in your house that people came to, that they came to um, advice, they came to you. Did I cut these already? I don't know. We'll do it again. I feel like 
that wants to come out. Look at this wheel. So, well, I feel like um, who's ever here? You know, to me, the wheel feels like another chance, another turn around the wheel. You know, and think about that because maybe here, you know, there's, it's dark, right? The energy's more dark. Um, but maybe because now I am who I am and they who they are now who they are, um, I feel like, you know, compassion coming out is the first one. If this is someone, or even maybe two people, right, with the lovers who are just feeling, no matter what else is going on in their lives, like, ugh, like that pull, um, I feel like it has to start, <clears throat> it has to start with forgiveness. Um, it has to start with probably both, and I feel like this has probably already happened, um, maybe haven't come into union, but I feel like, you know, like I now see it from the other person's perspective. And in that energy, right, I'm remembering the good things, not the, not the hard things. Now, does it mean I'm, you know, a fool? Um, or I'm, I can be walked on? No, it's not about that because... In this nine of pentacles, you know, this is becoming, this is becoming independent, um, strong within yourself, right? Building your, your foundation, um, you know, putting down roots, that type of thing. And it seems like in your world, like, um, whether you're there or not, you know, it just feels like, you know, like the right people are around me. So... Um, I feel like in no way is this about me being weak. Okay. This is going to be a long um, pick a card. But, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I like to give you the details. It's funny that all of a sudden all these cards come out, which... You know what? I'm just not really feeling them. So I'm putting them back. I feel like they'll just overwhelm the reading. And, um... We have... Well, there's the fool. So, it's funny. I said, you ain't no fool, right? But this is different, right? The fool is beginning on a path, a journey, um, taking leaps of faith. And, um, you know, if I'm following my gut, then those leaps just bring me closer to um, my soul's desires, I feel. Anyway, look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles again. Wow. Some of you are just meant to be doing something you know, like, yes, love is important, right? But what's also important is you and what you do and you build. Um, interesting, some of you may have a nine life path, right? Because we, keep, get, we got, keep getting the nine um, and they're connected, right? Connected by this fool. The nine, the final judgment, right? Looking back, um, nine of pentacles, what, what have I gained from that? Wisdom. Um, th these are things that I can build upon and not just that I feel like with the six of pentacles under that um, you know it's very it's, it's a very charitable type energy <clears throat> so more than enough can I say and not just more than enough but the energy of you then using that now it doesn't have to be in your pentacles this may be in your wisdom Maybe what, this is what you do now, right? Um, you give the wisdom. Well, where'd you get the wisdom from your experiences? Anyway, we have judgment. Um, this is a call to attention. This means, um, I often feel this means present moment, right? This is your spiritual team, um, but all of your spiritual team, even 
the higher ups, let's say. Um, and it's coming with the wheel and this six of cups, but also this five of wands. Well, let's see what's next. We have the strength card. Um, card of Leo. The, you know, the strength card, it's not about the overcoming of someone. It's about going within and taming the beast within myself. Um... You know, and I'm sure it's a, um, I'm sure both just kind of almost has a twin flame type of energy to it. Like, both must do it. Um, but I feel both do. Anyway, um, so the, the strength card's finding that inner strength. Um, you know, that's your, your spiritual being, like, all of that. And then, interesting enough, we have the Eight of Swords, but it, it's like on its side, and I kind of feel like that's the way it wants to be. So I feel like you're like I'm teetering there. Um, maybe some of you are almost there, right? Where um, that was the Six of Swords. Why did I think it was the Eight of Swords? Well, that's even, well, it, it's really the same thing. Um, so the Six of Swords talks about, first of all, you walking away. Walking away from energy that was toxic to you. Um, that can be even my thought process. That can even be, because I feel like this reading is saying, I can remember the bad. But honestly, I feel like the separation is there. Um, but that connection's still there. But I can remember that, or I can remember the cherished times the cherished moments maybe this is saying that this is not your first lifetime and um this is something that can be overcome by both and you know and in the meantime listen two nines of pentacles a lot of mirroring energy right maybe the full right between these pentacles maybe both um find that they're um it's a word that they're inspired in a certain direction and they follow it. And the Nine of Pentacles is about success. But it's also guardian angel energy. Maybe some of you have learned the art of forgiveness and therefore it's something you now teach. So, and listen, you can be in that energy even if you're not 100% cleared of it yourself um, because I feel like you're learning just like me right you're learning as you go learning as you go so i think i better leave it there <clears throat> um it seems rather long however very clear at the same time okay all right guys i mean i don't know that was deep connection Deep connection, but nonetheless, um, keeping myself in mind. Okay, let's go to number two. Sometimes I feel they're the continuation of the first, of the one before it, um, but not always. We have truth, truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Truth. True dreams brings out, well, hello, the sun. Beautiful. Um, roller of Leo. The sun. You know, that's complete illumination. Uh, especially with the truth here, right? Like, you know, those who come to me with falsehoods, I will know immediately in the sun's energy, right? You, you just, you can't slip something by me. Um, and maybe this is you, you know, I, I live in the truth, therefore I demand the truth. Um, but the sun is also about happy times, um, you know, laughter and joy. And um, maybe, it's, you know, I'm seeing this compass and maybe it's just your time. We have the Three of Pentacles. That's nice. 
you know, I almost feel like that's a love for something that you do. Something that um, you uniquely do. Even if other people do it, it, you do it uniquely, right? It's your unique way. Other words, you're not a copycat. Um, and that's being appreciated also for what you do. This is great if I'm collaborating um, with the sun there. You know, I feel like that's a, that's a lot of positive energy behind this. Um, and if I'm worried, you know, I hate to say worried because I don't feel that. Um, but I just feel like whatever is done in the dark will come to the light. All right. Speaking of, we have the light seers. Seven of Pentacles. Well, hello. Something you're just meant to do. It's interesting. Where's your Mother Mary card? Oh, where's your Mother Mary card? Oh, right here. Okay, sorry. We have the King of Pentacles. Can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Called Dark. I don't know if I've ever seen this. It's a little moody. You know, maybe somebody doesn't love the idea of you doing what you do. <clears throat> Even though I feel like it's exactly what you're meant to do. Uh, maybe it's speaking your truth. You know, like in a podcast, something like that. Maybe it's, it's the lyrics that I write. Um, I just feel like this king feels kind of like, eh. you know, almost like I put up with it because it, it brings money in. Huh. Um, I feel like he doesn't like other eyes upon you, maybe. Okay, we have the chariot. And it's interesting, when I first pulled off the, or turned the card around, I thought it said the truth. And I thought to myself, the truth? So... It's not the truth. It's a chariot. And then we have the moon. Card of Pisces. Um, you know, honestly, what I feel is, you know, when I think of the King of Pentacles being moody, it can be difficult energy because, you know, it's like stubbornness. And I know because, number one, I am a nurse sign, and, and number two, I live with a nurse sign, and number three, I've done many, many earth sign readings. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just the opposite. Like, you know, we all have these parts to us. So anyways, um, this person, I feel, is... I don't know. I feel like, for some reason, it's like... They're not so happy that you um, have the potential of being successful. Um, and um, interesting because I feel like for some of you, it's like, it's like you can see through the dark and they don't like that. Okay, why? Let's give this a couple shuffles. You know, there may be something that has been presented to you or, or will be presented to you that gives you the opportunity to um, do something I feel creatively that maybe you've always wanted to do um felt pulled to do i definitely feel this this is something that you probably felt guided to and um i feel like you know it's like this king of pentacles is in different type of energy so it feels off to me. Okay, let's bring this down. Anyway. Um, you know, I want to say don't be surprised 
if while you are in this creative mode, um, doing whatever it is you do, you know, I feel maybe you bring like sunlight to other people. Um, maybe through truth, I don't know. But I feel like, um, you know, you know, if I'm just beginning on this path, I feel like you really take off. Now, I feel like as you, as you continue to move forward in this path, I feel like potentially, it's interesting how I keep picking up, I picking up like, let's just say at least soulmate energy. Um, I feel like someone who is, who is meant to be there, who's meant to see you, or at least, or at least let me put it this way, um, their guides nudged them um, somehow to see you and through that there's this appreciation of and not just that but I feel like there's a, an awareness of or a, a you know like like you feel familiar type energy so anyways we have the two of pentacles so maybe I'm catching something you right at the beginning when you're wondering should I or shouldn't I well, it's the hangman, and the hangman is in reverse. So I feel like that's your answer. Um, two of Pentacles, you know, I'm coming to this decision very logically. And again, I feel like what you're doing here is you're thinking about um, something like in your creative house but it feels like something that is just meant to be um, and I feel like you feel inspired in that so and maybe you know you're wondering like can I take this and will it grow the answer is yes matter of fact I feel like there's really no limit but it's going to de depend if you um, you know what you put into it at the same time so i feel like this is this is someone's answer <laughs> you know trust your wisdom um because i feel like you've gained some wisdom and again you know just like life what i think life is really about right is your wisdom helping other people um, who have yet to gain that wisdom and so forth and so you know like we're here to help each other all right with Queen of Wands shown back up we have the Ten of Cups interesting the Ten of Cups coming over this King of Pentacles and then we have the Seven of Cups well okay well here's uh, you know Um, you know, I feel like, first of all, if I have a question, like, if I came here wondering, should I, should I chase this feeling that I have? Should I chase this, um, you know, should I put effort into building something for you? And I feel like uniquely to yourself, for yourself. Um, and again, it can be a business or that. Um, and maybe someone doesn't really care for it. The Ten of Cups coming over that, I feel like, um, you know, maybe I'm giving this King of Pentacles a bad rap because, um, I feel like in time, in time, because the Ten of Pentacles, or the Ten of Cups, why do I keep saying Pentacles? Ten of Cups is over him with the sun above him. Um, I feel, I almost feel like, <clears throat> what he jumps on board that type of thing seven of cups you know i feel like for some the answer is why not have both and if one energy can't live up to um, your energy or your vibration um, then it'll just naturally fade away um, but I feel like the, you, you 
you know, I feel like, um, I don't know, like you have a right to think about you and what you're being, in, you're feeling inspired to do. And getting seven of pentacles, um, to receive intention. Seven of cups, should I? Do I? I don't know. But who's throwing you in that energy of doubt? We have the Ace of Swords. And we have Justice. Well, wow. okay. I don't know. Because I have to tell you. Some of you, um, justice can certainly represent a divorce. Um, this would be something that you would want. Or let's say cutting of the ties. Um, now, this could just be what this King of Pentacles feels. Because this King of Pentacles feels very resistant and very... Um, <coughs> hmm. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, what you're feeling is what you're feeling. So I feel like you may come questioning whether you should, you know, chase your dream. Um, and I have to be honest, I feel like as you do, um, you, you know, it's like you have the opportunity to have real success here. Um, so, well, let's look at that Ten of Cups, because honestly, first of all, it says truth, right? Mother Mary says truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. So let's look at this Ten of Cups in the King of Pentacles. I don't know if I said we have the chariot, which is um, Cancer, and the moon, which is Pisces. Um, the ruler of Cancer is the moon. We have the sun and the moon. All right, we have the nine of pentacles, you know? I don't know. I feel like you're questioning. You're questioning whether to stay in something um, or follow your intuitive dream I'm calling it a dream but I feel it's very very realistic not just that but I feel like um, sometimes it, you know you are the missing piece of the puzzle you're the missing link you're your voice so all I can say is I feel like it's the saying trust yourself trust your um your decisions be truthful with yourself um you have the ace of swords you know that is the truth beyond all um again coming over that seven of pentacles i don't know um i'm getting this a lot already that you know your voice and how you use it is um maybe what this next journey is all about now in the three of pentacles i just want to say also uh especially with the hangman coming like ready to move right I have the awareness of I start to feel that this is right type of energy um, as you focus in that energy and the Sun there behind you and the seven of Pentacles beside you also um, you cannot help but grow bring um, beautiful experiences to yourself and sometimes it does need, there does need to be cutting of certain ties to truly experience what I want to experience. But only I can make that decision. I feel like, and that's where I'm going to leave that. Because I feel like only you can make that decision. But be lovingly honest with yourself and with others. Okay. Okay. 
you know, maybe this King of Pentacles needs time. <coughs> maybe you do what you need to do. Um, and who knows, maybe he eventually sees the light. I feel like right now he just feels very, um, stubborn. <laughs> okay, pal three, here we go. We have blessings. Today I count my blessings, small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. It's being aware, right? Being aware so I can I can see these gifts that come to me. Um, but it's also being thankful and grateful. And I feel like the more we recognize them, the more we receive, right? Because then they're not wasted. Okay, to James, we have the Emperor. Card of Aries. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, this could be a business owner. I consider both of them potential business owners, leaders, leaders of the people. Um, I feel like if they're a team, um, it's almost like, you know, I feel like this this emperor is like running a business and the Queen of Pentacles is like like in the olden days, is his um his magician, his psychic. Um, helps him maybe even like determine where to where to place his money, her money, that type of thing. Um You know, it's it's like somebody, sta it's like, you know, like a Roman emperor standing there. Um, but the empress is really the wise one. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say that. Um, but the, it seems like the empress's opinion um, means a lot. Anyway, where are we going with that? We have the wheel. This could be talking about a past lifetime, guys. We have the star, kind of dark, um, card of Aquarius. It's a card about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. For some of you, this certainly can talk about, you know, here's blessings, that these, these blessings are starting to come on your path now. We have temperance coming under the queen of pentacles. Um, card of Sagittarius and then we have the death card card of Scorpio card of endings um, but but so new things can begin it's really what it's about a rebirth I feel like there is an emperor and a queen of pentacles don't worry about the signs that are starting something up again um, I feel like timing has definitely been an issue but the wheels here and um, I feel whatever these blessings are, they're coming in, right? First of all, they're coming in divine time, in the right time. Um, but there is a requirement, and that requirement is the death card. That something, <coughs> excuse me, that something close, right? Temperance is putting the perfect mixture together. But perhaps something of the past doesn't fit in this mixture. It'll spoil the whole batch. It's interesting how much I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is almost like psychically in tuned with this Emperor.
we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Well, I can certainly be the business owner. We have the Seven of Cups. Let's bring these down. Queen of Pentacles can have options, but one of these options is the Emperor. Now maybe this Queen is is saying, I want to be um, the business owner, the boss, the leader, um, but she feels very, very in tuned, I have to say. And Temperance is really controlling her energy, so it is divine timing. <coughs> We have the Nine of Swords. You know, it's almost too bad. Um, but here it is. So, the Nine of Swords. Let's talk about that. The Nine of Swords is about excess worry. It can be self-doubt. Because the Seven of Cups is here. You can be doubting yourself. For, for um, Maybe you're doubting that... It's funny I said that we're going to talk about love, but I feel like your money... Um, or at least your creative houses seem to be the best focus right now. So there's nine of wands, or there's nine of swords. Um, it's, you know, what it's like taking something and I fear it, or I fear I'll, I'll not be good in it, I'll make mistakes, what have you. And then I allow that to multiply and multiply and multiply in my mind. Um, so you know chances of talking yourself out of something here with the seven of cups and the nine of swords are pretty good and we don't want that um so if you're questioning that at all again i feel like with the nine of pentacles coming right over the emperor um that talks about success um that talks about something that you can build and build i mean it can go generations and generations I don't know okay let's keep going we have the five of swords interesting I'm wondering if um, you know the five of swords is you taking a look at that nine of swords no doubt and seeing what is causing me to doubt myself because honestly there is no need to doubt yourself um, I feel like, again, the ability to truly be successful um, is here. And it feels divine. Like, your, your ideas, your epiphanies, your dreams, um, they're backed up by divine, right? But within that says that there's certain things that if doors don't shut, it just doesn't fit. Like the Nine of Swords doesn't fit in the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make it happen. The Nine of Swords, there's no way I can do this. I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna fail. But it seems to come you know, listen, it come come from other people. It can come from childhood. Um, but wherever it comes from, it is it, it became part of you. But it doesn't need to be. It doesn't um, it's not meant to be. So the five is a great time. I mean, we're in a universal year five, by the way. And it's a time to say, okay, what are these things that maybe are holding me back? And you have to look at oneself at the same time. <coughs> you have to. Um, because the five, the five asks for change, right? But in the same breath, gracefully and that fits right with blessings okay well, let's keep going we have the eight of cups okay i feel like again some of you are um if nothing else this is clearing of the emotional house and it's interesting that temperance is right over that right 
what I want, I can receive, but to receive what I really want comes sacrifice. And the sacrifice is to take that moment, see what holds me back, what causes my self-doubts. Is it real? It's almost like you need a truth card. Is it real? Is it, you know, due to other... This is the opportunity to shake everything off. And I feel like in this Eight of Cups, move towards, no matter what, um, happier times, um, freer times, times when, when opportunity shows, when these blessings show, you see them, and you grab them, and you take them, and you trust them, and you trust you. And in that energy, there's no doubt that you're going to see real success. We have the Five of Wands coming over, coming with, I should say, the Four of Swords. So that's kind of beautiful, right? Number, number one, the Five of Wands is... Um, can mean ego um you know it's kind of like that king of pentacles we had where he felt like he was unwilling at least at this moment to make change um i feel like you know maybe he'll be pushed but anyway that's another story um so so the five of wands is interesting you have two fives here probably have more um anyway well, um, what I want to say is you have to look at both of them. I feel like together they're making the Nine of Swords. So, um, you know, this could say I don't need to be right, right? I don't need them to make me right, to make it right. If this is, you know, for whatever it is, like I don't need them to tell me it's okay to do what it is I want to do. If I'm feeling, you know, listen, you're feeling strong over here. There, like, like there's, there's one half of yourself that I feel like, um, my God, there is no holding you back. And I feel like whatever you want to accomplish here, you will, you can. Um, but your free will is always going to come in there. Um, so anyway, um, but, but then we look at, you know, the five of wands, I feel like there's also no backing down. So I got to pick my battles. What's important, what's not important. That's what the death card may be saying. Pick what's important and what's not important. The nine of swords says excess worry. A lot of it is unnecessary. What these dooms that you think will, will happen will not happen especially when you're standing in this type of energy you know the five of swords to me feels much like the past reading truth being truthful and completely honest with myself and it may just be over what it is i want um because it is about your dreams your hopes and then the manifestation of it not just Putting it out there, right? This is the manifestation of it. A little bit of sacrifice. Here is the Four Swords. Four Swords is the healing. And I feel like that's what the Nines many times are. Sometimes as I am focusing on something that I feel inspired to, it tends to heal me. You know what I mean? You find yourself being healed through what you do um, as a side effect. <laughs> So anyways, I feel like whatever these two little things are, I feel like you can overcome them. Um, and I'm not just saying you, right? Because five, you know, we go to a ten here. Again, talking about two people. Um, but anyway, I just, I feel like the most important thing here is for you to trust in you. Um... You know, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles can feel what's going on. 
So if there's anything that's going on, um, doesn't feel right, I feel that she will take herself out of that situation. I don't know why I'm feeling that all of a sudden. Um, but I also want to say, boy, do I feel the power of this emperor. And I in no way just feel like it's an Aries. I feel like it's talking about many of us. Many of us who found ourselves with channels or found ourselves writing, um, you know, our, our songs or being inspired. Um, this is something we can really put roots down. So, I feel like you can never go wrong. And what what is meant for you will find you. You will find it. What is not meant for you will f fade away. Uh, you know, when you feel that resistance, that's a hint. Let it go. Uh-uh. Right? Not. They don't belong. It doesn't fit. Right? When you feel um, in tune with someone, you'll move closer. It'll open up. It'll expand um, naturally. If it doesn't, you know, given time, of course. But I feel like very naturally. Um, same with whatever you're building here. Right? I feel like it'll expand naturally. Otherwise, you may be guided to certain things that the, will, will then give you inspiration to do something um, or to add something or you know whatever it is I feel like these blessings aren't just one I feel like they're many um, but I do feel like it's important to have the awareness of them coming towards you and taking advantage of them don't fear I feel like you know that's the main thing I like, don't fear and here is the ability to heal, you know. It's healing the heart, but it's healing the self at the same time, right? It's working together. Healing the mind. Here's that nine of swords. And divine healing the heart. But what does it require? <laughs> the... Why do I want to say the ability to forgive? I don't know. Okay. Is there anything I want to look at? Um, I think I want to look at this queen and the emperor. Whoa. Queen and the Emperor. We have the Three of Cups. This could be some type of collaboration. Um, this is the energy of joy, celebration. We have, look at this, the Three of Wands. Mm. We have the Six of Wands. Hello, Victory. How are you doing, Victory? We have the Eight of Wands. Look at all the wands, guys. No wonder we opened up with the Emperor. Eight of Wands is fast-moving energy. What I think about, I bring about. What I think about, I bring about. Dang. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. I guess this would be real. Hmm. So, first of all, let's just say we're looking at this Queen and this emperor i want to see what kind of connection we have here um so we have like i feel like the collaboration perhaps um three of wands puts me in an, in an optimistic viewpoint you know i can therefore i will um that type of thing and therefore i do within the six of wands victory i can claim it right i can claim it um, the Eight of Wands can be fast-moving energy. You can grow quickly. Um, and it may make some nervous with this Eight of Swords. It may raise some old 
armor that you thought was gone. Boop, there, there it is. <laughs> um, that's okay, because you can be aware of it and therefore push it back. You know, sometimes we have the chariot, right? So that's a balance. That's the balance. Um, that's a balance of good and bad. My thought system also, I'm balancing my mind. What is truth? What is false? So, I feel like this is your guide just saying, be careful, be warned of this energy, right? Be warned that it could return, um, but don't give it any merit. 88, look at that, 3, 3, 8, 8, 33, 88. Oh, hello. Excuse me, one second. We have the, unfortunately, Ten of Swords. <sighs> so. I feel like I'm looking at two different perspectives on one life. One is the energy of I can't with the nine of nine of swords. First of all, the eight of swords, then the nine of swords, and now the ten of swords. I can't, therefore I don't. Almost like I submit. I don't make what change um, is available to me here in the five, maybe this year, um, and it continues you know if i'm wondering if something toxic is going to continue yes um sometimes you got to remove yourself sometimes it is you sometimes it's other people whatever it is if it's not fitting if it's doesn't feel right then it's not right so i'm not going to leave it there um, but I feel like it is saying that there are two different paths that I can go either or I look at it through the three of wands energy um, I look at what comes to me as true opportunity and um, I allow you know like you know wand is also action right I put in the action but it's what I want to do um, this Three of Cups does feel like the energy of celebrating, and I feel like it is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands, you know, like the other readings, this is the energy where others may be looking to you, up to you, um, valuing your opinion. Maybe some of you, again, are using the energy of the Eight, Nine, and now Ten. Maybe you do free yourself from it and then you now stand before others so to speak all right i don't want to end it there though i'm not going to end it there even though i do feel like for some of you that's what it is and maybe it's a path you just have to take right but it's the 10 you know And you got to be like, okay, things aren't going to change unless I change it myself. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Seven of Swords. Listen, I feel like, um, so the Seven of Swords is here that's touching the Ten of Swords. So Seven of Swords, first of all, now we have Seven, Eight, Nine, and Ten. We don't want them, but they're here. Um, but this talks about, you know, where it's stemming from. So it's the seven of swords, energy that I can't trust. Um, untrustworthy energy. It can be, um, you know, goes from a seven to a 10. So I feel like you know what I'm talking about um, because it's here and it's attached to this two of cups, so in some way it affects this two of cups. Now, this can be someone of the past, or this can be, you know, someone current. 
right? Like I'm, I'm allowing the energy of someone from the past affect me in today's energy. And therefore maybe here is a soulmate and I can't do it, right? I can't do it. I got the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten of swords. I'm living in the house of doubt. All right. Well, I'm not leaving it there either. So. Because it's almost like with this eight of swords, you have a blindfold on with the two of cups over, over that. And this can be the energy of someone who can be very inspiring for you, inspiring to you. This may be someone that, that inspires you to, I don't know, live your best life. <laughs> Is this something that only you can... change? Um... You know, I feel like, well, look at this. We have the wheel. So, you know, a couple things. When we're talking about something difficult and the wheel shows up, I feel like it's saying there's an opportunity, if that's how you want to look at it, an opportunity um, to truly learn something, something um, that has major profound effect on you. And this is something that um, becomes part of your eternity, your, your infinity, right? It's part of you now. So that's number one. And the wheel talks about if you've been in this type of energy and you're willing to make and see the blessing as they come and take them, um, this is the wheel that moves, right? So, destined. Now, you always have free will, and that's what this is saying. Like, sometimes the free will can go haywire. And I kind of feel like, you know, I've gone from the 7 to the 8 to the 9 to the 10. And it's not denying that all of something didn't happen. What it's saying is that it's affecting you in profound ways that um, it's stealing your life, right? But as I say, it's stealing, you're also giving it. So, in a way, I don't feel like this is talking about anything about someone from the past who comes back in because... Um, I feel like the lesson that you really, really learn is, wow, I will never let that happen again. Almost like I left a narcissist, but now I know what a narcissist looks like, right? I know what you look like now, so now you can no longer fool me, right? <clears throat> they can have their clutches on you, but, you know, I feel like you, blessings, ways ways to um, live the life you deserve. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I feel like I'm maybe pushing it a little bit too far because I feel like this is the energy you clear. Um, you know, you have a lot of success here. All these readings really talked about success in your creative houses almost like we're being called into our creative houses but in those houses boom you seem to like expand um and that can't help but bring um soulful energy toward you and that that does not belong will not stay you know we have to let it go let them go so anyway Anyway, um, interesting love readings. They all felt a little bit, I don't know. Um, you know, let's just say, what's one of the things that, what's one of the blessings you receive 
by the clearing of all those swords. It is, it is awareness. It is truth. It is excitement. Um, let's say the two of uh, cups, because it is here, shows up. How do you now look at it versus how you did look at it? You look at it for all it can be. You take it moment by moment. Um, you you go and you build. Some of you is can be someone that you literally work with um, together. You know, I feel like it's different things for different people. But nonetheless, here's the wheel saying understand, just understand. Um, if you allow yourself to see how strong you are, um, you become that. You become that. And if you become that, you can stop fearing everything. And you can start creating like you never have before, I'm telling you. And you open up parts of you that can't help but bring you in soulful people and the right things at the right time, at the right place. You know what I mean? It's just, it's kind of magical. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I want to thank you, all of you. Um... I know these are a little bit longer, but, you know, they had longer messages. Um, let me know what you think, which one you chose. I feel like a lot of you are already guided to more than one. Because this definitely felt like they interlinked in some ways, so... Just trust in that. Anyways, thank you as always, guys. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. And thank you for subscribing. It means the world for the world to me. You know, you are my blessings. So I see them. I thank you. And um, I wish you nothing but love and abundance. I'll see you in the readings. Bye-bye.